So as you guys probably know, there is a bunch of new superhero movies that came out or coming out. Deadpool 2, The Avengers, a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, so that's why in today's video, we're doing a Harry Potter build. <laughs> no, I was feeling it. I think it's going to be really cool. So that's what we're doing. So in this video, we're going to be making a Harry Potter wand. Now I've been thinking about this for a while now, which is wondering like how I could create something that's actually like not boring and just a stick in your hand with like a light. Um, but I think I have the answer. Plus, I feel like I could pull off Harry Potter if I could just find maybe my glasses, maybe a scar on the forehead. Yeah, I, I think I can pull it off. Off a decent amount of superheroes, I think. Figured I could do Spider-Man pretty well. Superman, I can kind of pull it off. Um, Flash, so I can kind of get away with. Can't quite do Wolverine, though. Hacksmith does a pretty good Wolverine. Um, also, Captain America, he does a pretty good job at that. Anyways, I digress. So, unfortunately, this one's not going to be made entirely the book describes it. Not Probably not going to have a phoenix feather or be made of wood or have any magical ability at all. But we can use science to, uh, to create a pretty cool effect. Think of this as kind of like a Harry Potter one from the future. Also, we have uh, t-shirts available. Link in the description if you want to help support my channel. If you end up liking this video, um, it helps me do more of uh, this stuff. So, check that out if you want. And let's get into this video. So what I'm gonna do is use my lighter cartridges and fill them with various fluids that will ignite and burn different colors, um, do different things for the different spells. First thing I did was to whip up a 3D model of the handle. So pretty much the lighter can fit inside of the handle. I made a little locking mechanism with a piece of wire. So you push in the lighter, lock it up, and uh, it won't come out. And uh, the handle also has a little space for your thumbs so you can pull down the trigger and shoot out a bunch of fuel. Now these lighters are modified slightly. Pretty much what we do is take out the fuel restrictor. I've made so many videos in the past on that. Um, just literally go watch any of my other Spider-Man web shooter videos. It'll explain how to do it. So I actually ended up using a ski pull for the wand part itself, uh, cause these are actually hollow inside. So to get a tube, I just cut off the tip and rounded it off and cut it down to length. I think the wands are around like 11 or 12 inches. Um, I searched that up and the handle I made was like four inches. So I cut the wand part down to about uh, eight inches and then we have to uh, connect them together somehow. Um, so to do this, first I heated up the handle a little bit and then stuck it into the 3D print to kind of get it in there a little bit so it wouldn't wiggle around. Um, and then I took two screws and screwed them into either side of the handle. Um, and then mounted two little tubes on either side of the ski pole um, and secured it all up. So when you slide on, the two tubes connect and uh, it stops it from wiggling around. Now I could just shoot all the stuff in the lighters out through the ski pole as it is, but a lot of it would leak out the sides and it might catch on fire and just wouldn't work as well as it uh, could. So what I did was I took um, some very small tubing from two other like uh, grill lighters and, uh, and then ran that down through the tube up to the tip and connected it to the lighter as well. now when you slide on the tube onto the handle, um, one tube will meet the tip of the lighter um, and it'll connect and yeah, the lighter will be ready to go. So to keep this in place, I use some wire to uh, secure it down. I put a screw in the handle. Um, you can take it off if you want to. I kind of figured out you don't actually need to take it off because the lighter comes out of the other end of the 3D printed handle. Um, and then a new one can just slot right up and uh, connect onto the tubing and uh, you're ready to go. So to ignite our fluid, I used an arc lighter. Uh, I'll link these down in the description. I pretty much always use these if I'm uh, doing anything pyrotechnic related and uh, need to shoot stuff uh, because they're electronically controlled and they're super effective, great pilot lights. Um, so yeah, I ripped one of those apart and uh, attached it on the handle, kind of ran the wires out, um, kind of wrapping around the tube uh, up to the tip. I mounted two wires across the tip right where the fuel shoot out. Um, and then I mounted the switch onto the handle so you can hold the wand 
press the pilot light with one finger and uh, press down the fuel with the other. And then you can cast some spells just like Harry Potter. Yeah, working uh, pretty good. Just gotta cover it all up and uh, add some cosmetics, make it look more like a wand. So one that shoots fire is uh, cool at all, but what'll make it really cool is if it shoots different colored fire for different spells. Um, so that's what we're gonna try and do. To do that, we've got some heat, some boric acid, and some lithium uh, that we're gonna harvest from these batteries. Hopefully we're gonna use these to create some uh, colored fire that we can load up into our uh, lighter cartridges. Maybe like even color code the lighter so like uh, we could get a yellow one for yellow fire or for yellow spells. Maybe like a, uh, a purple or red one for like a super dark red fire. And then like a green one for like the green spells like uh, Fada Kedavra. Stuff like that. So for the base of all of these uh, flames, we're gonna be using some heat antifreeze. And this stuff contains methyl alcohol, which is uh, very flammable, but it also burns very cleanly. So we got a very pure flame. Uh, so then we can add a bunch of stuff to it. Um, and the colors won't be like diluted, like if uh, you burn like gasoline or something. Um, if you add anything to that, it's still the gasoline's pretty much just gonna overpower it and it'll still look the same. Uh, but this stuff, very pure, so you can add a bunch of stuff to it to change the color. Let me show you what I mean. So we've got this tin right here, um, and we're just gonna pour a little bit of this uh, methyl alcohol, methanol on here. And uh, watch what happens when we light it. As you can see, it burns a very blue flame. Um, so some of this, so this is where, oh, now it's actually burning a little bit of the label on top of this. Uh, so that's where you get the uh, orange from. So this is perfect to add stuff to, to get a uh, colored fire effect. We can just use this straight up for a lot of the spells. Some of the spells in Harry Potter are blue. Um, so that's perfect, we can use that. But if we want to do like green spells, we're gonna add a little bit of uh, boric acid. Um, let's just put a little bit of this on here. And then we're gonna mix it with the methanol. We mix that up, then we light it again. Oh, we got some green fire now. <sighs> Very cool stuff. If we can make a solution to that, put it in our lighters, and then we'll have some green fire. Then we can also rip open some of these uh, lithium batteries as well. Uh, you can see we've got the ultimate lithium. Dissolve it in this solution as well, and then we can get some red fire. And of course, we can just use regular butane for the orange, so uh, it'll give us a cool array of uh, fire. Also shout out to the King of Random for uh, doing a project involving colored fire. Reminded me of uh, this cool thing and uh, I thought I'd kind of adapt it into this cool Harry Potter way. So I hope you guys like it.
the cartridges here. We've got the uh, wand ready. Um, so I've got green cartridges for the green fire, yellow cartridges just for the regular butane fire, got red cartridges for the red fire, and, and we've got a blue cartridge for the blue fire. So start off with the yellow fire, just the regular butane. See how well this thing actually works. So as I showed you before, pop it on in. Try this out. Incendio. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's try some colored fire now. So let's eject the yellow cartridge and swap in a nice green cartridge. Perfect. Lock her up. Let's test this out. Avada. Alright, let's try some red fire. Alright, red fire. Here we go. Alright, what do you say we try battling an enemy? The most feared character in all of Harry Potter. Yours truly. Lord Voldemort. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like it, as always, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. And uh, also comment your ideas down in the description of uh, what you want to see me make next. As I said before, a lot of cool superhero movies coming out, or like this, really anything else you want to see me make. Uh, if I like it, if it sounds cool, I'm gonna make it. Also go follow me on Instagram down below, and if you want to help support this channel, we got shirts too. Uh, all the links you'll need ever down in the description. That is all I've got for today's video, guys. Take it easy, and as always, expecto Patronum.